Hey guys, Star from Tower Arts Movie here, and welcome to another exciting tutorial. And uh, by the way, I'm sorry for you guys, my subscriber and friends. Uh, I've been gone a, like two weeks uh, because I've been really, really busy. But here I am. I'm back to answer your um, questions, and which is how to do this um, news room effect right there. So. Today I'm gonna answering that question. All right, so the first thing you gonna wanna do is, of course, you will have to have some camera, of course, to record yourself. That will be quite uh, reasonable. <laughs> and then you're gonna have some green screens. You can see I got this green screen, a portable one, from a website called TubeTape.com or TubeTape.net. It will be the same. And uh, yeah, I got a green screen from there. Also, the lighting kit, as you can see here, uh, I got some light at the right side and also the left side, but you can see it. Um, yeah, I bought it from tubetable.com. It's very cheap, but it got a very nice quality. So, check them out, tubetable.com. Also, if you register in um, tubetable.com, they're gonna send you some email freebies like this. And uh, after you unzip it, you will have some a bunch of like um, newsroom background and a couple of video loops uh, here video loops like this you can use it also for like news uh, or whatever there you go so you, you got you will get these freebies by just sign up on their website so definitely go to tubetech.com and check them out alright so after you already have all of that we can start to understand this tutorial so um, yeah remember that uh, you, are, you have to have you have to shot yourself not not kill yourself but shot yourself with a camera <laughs> it was a lame joke um, and for green screen but remember well this will be um, for you if you're a beginner just remember if you're using green screen of course you're not gonna use a green cloth because when you try to remove the green screen you're gonna remove yourself with the green clothes that's a very um, easy thing to understand uh, so open up after effects right here and we're gonna import the green screen footage boom to after effects like so and also the newsroom background that we got from tubetape.com just click and drag it to After Effects also boom so first thing is your footage click and drag it to make new composition Ooh, we're gonna make it fit up to 100% and there you go uh, first thing first we gonna cut the unnecessary part as you can see here this is my room so messed up <laughs> so I'm just gonna delete it by cut it using pen tool. If you're a beginner and ask him, wait, what what is pen tool? Pen tool is, is a pen, but try to imagine like it's a scissor. It cuts everything. So we gotta cut the underside part. So to zoom in, by the way, if you're a beginner, uh, just scroll your mouse up to zoom in and scroll your mouse down to zoom out. Woo, like that, like woo. Uh, say okay. <laughs> Enough with the fun part. And uh, we're gonna click. <laughs> And click if you click and hold it and drag it, you will have some roundy shape like that. So click, click, click. We're gonna make the unnecessary part disappear. So make sure uh, remember to click, hold, and drag it to make a roundy shape like that. Boom, 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 like so. And almost finished yeah better way to move it with hand tool like this so you can move it like so is to just click and hold your middle mouse scroll click and hold it and it will change the hand tool if you're a beginner right away boom there you go um change it to fit up to 100 percent boom it's done make make sure you change it to selection tool again there um now we gonna put our newsroom background below the footage boom we already have some nice newsroom background but we still have some green screen here uh, the green part here we're gonna make it disappear also so click your video footage 
your um, subject uh, yourself with the green screen click that and go to effect keying key light and then screen color we're gonna pick with the color picker just pick the green color here boom and the green will disappear we're done just kidding we're not we're not done so um, if you change the final result here to screen mat as you can see here um, I'm gonna explain to you a little bit about this. Um, the the white part the white part here is your subject, and the black part here is the part that's supposed to be all black, so it will uh, see through. So the black part is supposed to be see through because it's a green screen, and we're gonna remove the green screen, and uh, it should be black. And black means um, disappear. So, so you see here, there's some gray area right here, and uh, we're gonna make it black so it will uh, be see through. Um, after we set it to final result so all we're gonna do is go to left right side over here we're gonna find screen mate and we're gonna screen mate here get some triangle click that open up clip black and we're gonna punch the clip black up until the black part is the gray part is becoming you know black boom but we got we got a we got a new problem here after we make it all black the white part is starting to appear some gray ugliness right here so to fix that the clip white here just punch it down until the gray part become all white boom and we are done and maybe um, we're gonna change the screen mat to file result boom looks clean and so easy but maybe if you're not have some a good uh, or proper lighting on your uh, green screen and you have some for example like harsh shadow on your green screen maybe it's not gonna be that easy to make it you know all black for the background and all white for the foreground so make sure you have some decent proper lighting for your um, uh, green screen video and for the tutorial for the green screen and lighting and etc you can actually go to tubetable.com and find some I, I believe there's some tutorial here yes instructional tutorial just watch the tutorial how to properly light your green screen so it will be easier for you to key it or to make it the green or blue screen disappear using like software like After Effects or etc so alright um, now as you see here it's too big or uh, and we're gonna make it smaller because we're gonna put it this guy here behind the desk behind the table right here so click your footage press s and scale it down s to make it scale here scale down and place it whatever you want let's say here but we have another problem uh, we want to make this guy behind the table as you see here it's like it's well it looks weird and everything so um, it'll be easy we're gonna just duplicate this newsroom background by control D or just click it and go to edit and copy I believe oh no there's a duplicate duplicate control D all right uh, we have two now news background but we're gonna make one of them above everything boom but on the top part here uh, we're just gonna need the table area so we're gonna cut it using a pencil again boom so the top part click that make sure you click that and we gonna cut the table because we only need the table area here to make that guy looks like behind the table so for this part it's not have to be so neat boom and you just make that guy behind the table fill up to 100% boom it's finished second we're gonna import um, another freebies from tubetable.com which is this um, news uh, you know globe thingy here we're gonna click and drag it to after effects boom we're gonna put it below everything and probably we're gonna 
control D to duplicate it four times and just basically just to, to you know to fill this hollow area area here so it will have some background too as you can see here on my video I use just a picture of city to fill it to fill the hollow area here um so back to after effects there you go now we already done here by the way but uh, uh, on my recent tutorial I already teach you um, about you know how to composite a 3d um, image to uh, your footage I'm just gonna show you maybe um, charts movie my channel maybe yes this one through the composite tutorial you can watch if you watch this tutorial I already teach you how to blend a 3d um, footage onto your footage as you can see here we're gonna scrub to ha 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 so as you can see here I already teach you how to blend your 3d as you get for example here's the t-rex into your footage and we're gonna use the same technique Oh, by the way, this I just in gaming. <laughs> just watch it. Um, you can. We're gonna use the same technique to make your footage blend even more to the background. So, make sure you click your footage, and then you're gonna go to Effect and Key Correct, and we're gonna use um, Edge Blur. Uh, as you can see here, if we're gonna turn off the Edge Blur. The edge is so sharp and chunky and like that. And after we turn it on, it has some nice blur, so it will help uh, to blend the footage even more. Uh, next, still, we click the footage and go to effect, key correct, and light wrap. What is it? Light wrap. There you go. Light wrap is to light wrap is basically uh, it's gonna you know render some uh, light information from the background so it will match the light information on your foreground so I'm just gonna do it so you understand so background layer make sure you choose your background layer so the background layer is a newsroom right here pick that and it will automatically as you can see here having some uh, yellowish uh, light from the background so if you turn it off without the light wrap it will be like this and with the light wrap it will be like this and you can uh, change the we can play with the um, settings here put the brightness down a little bit boom see uh, it has some yellow line that coming from here and it will blend uh, your footage even more to the background so that's my tips for a green screen so guys it's actually pretty easy and oh yeah by the way um, if you want to make the table looks like a glass as you can see here um, on my video the table is actually uh, reflecting a picture from the city here as you can see here so it, it looks like a glass also myself well to do that is actually pretty easy all you're gonna do is just um, let's say I'm gonna make some uh, myself here to be like reflecting on this table all you're gonna do is duplicate this uh, footage control D and um, you can make it upside oh sorry you can make it upside down just a little bit down here make it upside down like oh sh sorry make it upside down like that like so put it up put it above everything and let's say this and you're gonna create another mask for this you can make it uh, temporary um, for the opacity just down a little bit for temporary and you gotta cut it on the table shape and you just create a fake um, what's to call it 
fake um, and make sure you change it to subtract oh sorry sorry now this the other one subtract oh I think just messed it up <laughs> oh no 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 this is add this is subtract I believe no maybe inverted yep so after subtract it and inverted it boom just play with it until you get the right um, combination so uh, you just create an, a nice fake reflection right there we're gonna fix this a little bit there you go so it looks like a reflection on the table and make sure it's because this is a reflection um, the opacity maybe you're gonna turn it down a little bit the opacity maybe around like 40 boom there you go you just create a fake reflection so it will looks like the table is made of a glass if you also want to uh, have some reflection from the background here you can do this exact same thing Alright, so guys, my name is Star from Star Arts Movie. I hope you find this tutorial useful. Next, I'm gonna be um, uh, teaching you how to uh, create your own cinematic look, cinematic looks preset because uh, I got some, uh, I got a lot of requests about it lately because um, if you are my old subscriber, subscriber, <laughs> maybe you already know that I have some a video that you know teaching you how to um, create some nice looking video with a um, cinematic looks and also a download uh, link for the everything I made like the cinematic looks presets but I uploaded to megaupload.com and as, as you know megaupload is like you know <laughs> already died dead already dead <laughs> Uh, because of FBI uh, and I lost my file and for the next tutorial I'm just gonna be teaching you how to do the cinematic looks yourself and save it uh, and make your own presets out of it alright guys so my name is Star from Star Arts Movie if you find this useful please subscribe to my channel and see you in the next cool videos and tutorials ciao